All right, hey, Tony, Random Adventures 2.0. Uh, we're here at the Loyal Sox State Forest. Now, I just entered into the state forest uh, out this road about two miles. We're going to come to a parking area, and supposedly uh, the run that comes down through is called Miner's Run. And it's from what I read, it's not a very well-visited uh, waterfall, uh, more than one waterfall. Supposedly there's six waterfalls and we're gonna hike them uh, here in a little bit. And I wanna take you along. Uh, from what I understand, it's not a marked trail. So I'm gonna find the best way up uh, to get to all six of them. Uh, I'll show you that in the video. And then I'll explain how the best way to get to the top would be to see all six of them. So we're gonna explore this together uh, so let's get going, and I will see you at the parking lot area. All right, talk to you soon. All right, here we are. <laughs> so we made it two miles out the road, and we're here at that bridge that I said that I crossed. So we came from this direction here, heading that way. So we entered from the town of Ralston, and right about two miles, um, we came to this little bridge crossing. Uh, so upstream is that way. Uh, downstream is this way and that runs to uh, Rock Run that runs down through the mountains here um, but this is where I got to last night and I got out of the car right about here and I could hear water but I didn't know if it was just running you know under the bridge and falling over the other side but uh, I couldn't really see up into the woods because it was dark at that point uh, but you can kind of a little bit make it out right about there is the waterfall so there is one here. So we're gonna hike up. Now I parked right over here. Now, like I said, I came in from this direction from the town of Ralston. And so park on that side, there's a nice parking area. I mean, you could pull in over here too, but this is a bigger spot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, I believe there's a, a little bit of a path right over here. So we're gonna start up on the left side. So. Um, looking upstream uh, we're going to go up the left side of the creek and kind of check the falls out and like i said supposedly there's six of them up here we're going to see if we can find all six all right uh, let's get heading in the woods Okay, we're at waterfall number one. So we came up the left side, made a little bit of rock scramble down. It's a little slippery because of the moss and the rocks are wet. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the fall here. I'd say maybe about 10 or 12 feet tall. Um, it doesn't look that tall because I'm standing a little higher than what it is. I mean, but that's a very cool waterfall. Very clear stream water. Man, I would drink it. <laughs> I've got my filtration, uh, but I do have water. But if we need more, hey, we might get it out of here and just filter it through our Sawyer. Uh, but very cool. So we're gonna head up this way, but we're gonna go around here to go up. And not sure how far the next waterfall is. Like I said, we're checking this out together. So let's go. Okay, we're about a tenth of a mile up from the last waterfall. I believe this is the second waterfall, so it's falling water. <laughs> Maybe about a five foot drop. Uh, so we came up from down here. You can see it's running downhill. Uh, we made it up along the left side of the creek uh, till we got here. We're starting to enter the gorge now. Uh, so I guess it's, this would be uh, considered a gorge because we got rock cliffs on both sides. I just pan you up there. We got rock cliffs up there. And then over on this side, you can see them up there as the stream goes up through. Uh, but that's a good way, good ways up there. Uh, but this would be the second, second fall. So I'm gonna get a picture of this one 
and then we'll keep heading upstream. Yeah, but at the base, maybe this is the second fall, I don't know. Th that one down there, it dropped about five feet, so that might have been the second one. But here's a larger one um, behind me here. Boy, isn't that amazing? So right now I'm standing in the middle of a gorge. So I've got rocks on both sides of me. Uh, so you can see uh, on this side, they go all the way up. I mean, a long way up. So that's on the right side. And then there's the fall in the center. And then on the left side, as you're coming up, um, look, that's, that's up there quite a ways too. Now, there's no way to cross right here. Like, I can't go that way because I've got all the rocks there. I can't go that way up along the side of the waterfall. There's, there's no, no trail there. There's no trail on either side. So I think what I'm going to have to do is kind of scale, go back back a little bit, and then walk that line up along here and head up that way along those trees, drop down, and then continue up that way to see if I can cross. Maybe I can cross the top of the fall right there. I don't know. This. So if you're come, going to come up here, um, one good hiking shoes because coming up from down below there I mean that's that's down uh, so you're walking pretty much a stream bed up through there um, like I said I'm gonna get ready to go up over here um, yeah I'm thinking that's the best way to go all right well, I'll take you along all right let's go I think I'm below the third fall. I think it's around this corner here. Um, I can't go that way anymore up the left side. I probably could scramble a little bit, but I don't know how far I'd be able to get. I am seeing some uh, stacked rock or cairns. So they're not always just about balancing rocks. Uh, sometimes they mark a trail. Well, a lot of times they mark a trail. Um, so I do see a couple going up along here. So I'm gonna follow those. I'm gonna cross, it's, it, we're at the bottom of the third fall, I believe. Uh, so I think the uh, second one that I said in the beginning, uh, right after the first one, I don't think that was quite a waterfall. We're gonna keep making our way up here. All right, I'm gonna say that that's marking the trail. Uh, there's another one over there on that boulder. So we're gonna follow that because that looks like possibly that's the way to go. Like I said, I don't know yet. <laughs> we're, we're doing this together. Okay, so I'm, I just crossed over the bottom, but I'm looking back over this way. There's a large boulder down across the stream, and it looks like there's you can get under it. So I'm going to cross over here. It's not, not much to cross over, but it can be tricky. It can be very tricky. Tricky and slippery. So. Because a lot of these rocks have moss on them. Wet moss on rocks, slippery. All right. So we can go in here. So over the stream. 
the stream still running down through. It looks like it got clogged. So maybe this was, well, there's tree roots. What's up in there? Mm -hmm. No. I see through a little hole there. Let me turn the light off. Ooh. See a little bit of light through there. So, so yeah, nice uh, <laughs> rock overhanging. There's a big old spider with a nest of eggs. All right. Okay, behind me, we're at the top of the waterfall, the third one that we were just looking at. So I made it up and around this boulder, came back down to the stream, uh, one to see the top of the waterfall, but the other is this amazing boulder that's balanced on another boulder over top of the, over top of the creek. So you can see this large boulder here, very large. It's being held up by that little rock right there in the stream. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna we're gonna go take a look underneath of it. There you go. You see I'm perched up underneath the rock. Uh, we made it underneath a little bit. There it is over top of my head. There's the other side of it. Spin you around. That's looking back downstream underneath if I didn't want to get my if I wanted to get my shoes wet I'd walk through it I got other shoes in the car but these are my hiking hiking shoes I brought other shoes along to go in the creek down below uh, really cool uh, if, if you bring kids along they'd love this spot you can play right here in the water uh, right below this fall uh, I don't know if this is another waterfall or not we're gonna check it out we're gonna go up and around this boulder I'll show you from the top All right, so that rock that we were underneath, you can't see it anymore. It's way down there. Um, you really can't get the perspective. I'm looking at the screen, seeing what you're seeing. Um, nah, that's, that's a good bit up. <laughs> you really can't tell on the screen. You're gonna have to come out here and experience it for yourself. But once you get past that third fall and that balancing rock, you're gonna be doing some rock scrambling, climbing up the bank, going around large boulders. Uh, so you can see some of the large boulders down there. I just came up from down there. And you can see the stream is lower than what I am because uh, I had to come up around boulders to get to where I'm at right now. Now I'm standing on top of a boulder. Uh, we're gonna go continue that way. Uh, so let me spin you around. So. We've got to go a little bit down and then around that corner there. And then, all right, it looks like it still goes up. So we're gonna keep going up. All right, I'll spin you around. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're at the largest fall. I believe this is number four. So I would say this is either four or five. I don't know. I don't know if you're counting those or not. Uh, if you were counting all of them that, that dropped over at least two or three feet, uh, there's a lot of them. So, uh, but this is, it looks like a pretty big one. Um, I walked over there for a little bit of scale. I'm gonna run you uh, up a little closer. Um, we'll go up and around that way. So now I cross back over to the left side of the stream going up. I'm not sure if we're gonna go that way or not to get to the top, but this way is not looking very promising either. Um, a lot of drop-offs. So we'll see, see which way works best, but I'd say it's gotta be at least at least 30 feet up there to the top. But I'm gonna go over here, get us a little closer. I'm gonna snap a picture here first. All right. So we were on the right side. I crossed over the left side at the bottom of that one. So we went up and we looked at the bottom of that fall. I'm up to the top of what we could see. There's another one right above, right above it. So this one here uh, drops down and there's a pool of water right there. Oh, it almost, <laughs> almost fell off. A uh, pool of water right there right there and then that's the top of that fall that we were just looking at from down below now where we were at is them rocks right over there so that's where we were standing just on the other side of it just on the other side of it so we came up 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 and around all these boulders and stuff and just came down to where I'm standing at right now now that was tricky if you're not uh, comfortable um, walking on thin edges or slippery leaves, slippery rocks, don't come past the first or second fall. Um, it only gets more steeper as you come up through. Just be careful, you know, watch your step. It's beautiful, uh, but make sure that when you grab a hold of a tree, that it's actually a tree, not just a dead branch leaning up against a tree. Um, I did that. <laughs> I went to go grab a hold of it and it, it just went loose uh, so uh, make sure you got good footing all right so I don't know if I can get down to there I don't think I'm gonna attempt it we're just gonna go up and around I've got all these boulders to scramble up and over here um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what it looks like Got my hat wet, I'm nice and cool. Gonna continue on. Uh, this is a really cool little waterfall. Spin you around here again. Uh, there you go, really neat. If you can see the perspective, when I went up to it, you can see it was a lot higher uh, than me standing here with it over my shoulder. Doesn't look that big, but you saw it's taller than what I was when I was next to it. Now I'm standing on a, a big 
big boulder slab. Um, and on the way up there, I saw some salamanders running really cool. So now we got to navigate, somehow get up over this thing. Looks like there's more up top. We're going to keep making our way. I think what we'll do is we'll go up around this way. I mean, I could go up there, uh, up that little thing, but it looks a little slippery, so uh, we'll make our way out around this way. All right. I got to a spot where I'm back on the right side. I can't get that that bank is too steep. There's no footpath at all that I see. I don't want to go up to go over and around. So I'm gonna cross back over to the other side, which would be the left side as we were walking up. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a trail over there, but I've got to get down and across all of that so if you don't want to get real adventurous like i said stop at about the third third waterfall i mean at this point you're really uh trailblazing to get up any higher i don't know how many more falls are up ahead uh, but i'm going to keep going and i'll show you what we see and you can determine whether or not you want to come up this far uh, based on what you see but just the adventure and the, uh, the exercise and the walk and just being out in uh, the woods uh, is really awesome. Uh, like I said, we got, we're walking up a gorge uh, that has a stream running through it. Um, so you've got cliffs on both sides. Uh, pretty, uh, I mean, through the trees, even up that way, I can see cliff. Like I'm not seeing blue sky except for straight up almost. Let me show you. So that's just light shining through the trees. I mean, blue sky is up there. It's hard to see, but um, that bank is pretty steep. So if you look at the tree angles, so the trees, you know, like this. So the bank is like this behind me. So we were walking up along that, and it's even steeper, and it makes a bend coming up around this way. But there's some nice cliffs uh, through the trees up, up ahead. But I'm gonna cross over. This is a pretty neat spot. Uh, I guess I could go down. I'm gonna go down around this tree. I'll go at the base of that fall. Looks like I can cross uh, the collection pond. There's some rocks there, uh, but we'll get a good shot of this, this waterfall here. All right. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but this is, this is uh, pretty cool. All right. All right, at this point, I believe the trail is the creek so once you get past that last fall I don't know I'm gonna keep going uh, up the stream but I don't I'm not really seeing any foot uh, paths any longer um, neither side like down so a little bit of a perspective That's down so from about halfway down there, I was making my way back and forth across the boulders up to this spot. Like I can say there's some more cascading water, <laughs> uh, but I'm just heading up the fall or up the creek. So, see, I don't see where you can walk on that side. I can probably get across. Let's see, I'm going to go from here to here, to here, to there, and then maybe up that side. Uh, we'll see, I don't know, there might be more falls, maybe not. 
Uh, but boy, I do have shorts on under on on underneath these pants. That's pretty tempting to sit down in that water right now. Uh, but you know, especially walking up through here with a camera and a tripod and stuff. A little tricky on the handhold, so don't mind the bouncing of the camera and stuff. Uh, that's what it is, right? Uh, I don't know. I, I want to kind of see, keep going and see what's up here. All right. Maybe I won't film a whole lot more. But I'll, I'll film once I get as far as I'm going to go and then figure out how we're going to get back. If we'll come the same way or, or figure out another way down. All right. So, more falls. <laughs> uh, so it was down there filming this one. Now the only way to get up is to kind of go along. I'm gonna cross over again, uh, but you see I'm standing on a ledge. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it's slippery. Gotta watch, watch the step. Now I'm at the top of this one. Doesn't look that high. <laughs> Disappointing a little bit uh, when you see it in the camera, because uh, it's a long way down there. Uh, way down there. This is fairly flat. A um, little bit of downhill or we're gonna have to go a little bit uphill. Uh, but you can see how it's over time cut away and made that rock cliff there. So that's looking up. This is straight out. But I ran out of battery, so I got an extra charge going. So I'm managing cords along with, uh, along with recording. But I'm going to make it across here. All right. Good. All right. So, kind of see the, the cutaway of the cliff now. A little better. Still, it just doesn't do it justice uh, in the what I'm seeing on the screen versus what I'm seeing. Not even 50%. So, if you're adventurous and you want to attempt to come up this high, you got to do it. You just got to. Take your time. Uh, really cool. Like I can say, I don't think this is uh, explored that often. Rarely. If you want to see a fall, you can see a first one. <laughs> if you just want to get out of the car, walk in the woods a little bit, start there. Then next time you come up, go to the second one. Uh, then third one. And eventually, uh, may come all the way up. Like I said, I don't know how much further this goes. Looks like it's more stream walking. Might be able to go up the right side here. Uh, definitely not the left. <laughs> All right. So, make it away across this, and I'll let you know what I see up ahead. Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. I think we're going as far as we can. It pretty much flattens up. We're almost to the top. 
Um, I would say for the last maybe 200 yards um, length of two football fields, I've been ha hiking in the stream. I got off to the side a little while ago. I'm sinking down in leaves. There's no real good trail up here. Uh, so you're kind of just um, doing the trail on your own. Uh, however, um, it is peaceful up here. But there are a lot of mosquitoes too. <laughs> so, uh, but you see behind me, the stream continues up. It, we're, we're just a slight uphill here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is start making our way back to the car. Uh, probably head back down the same way it came up. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and say uh, thanks for coming along. And if you want, hit like and subscribe. And I will talk to you back down at the car. Uh, we'll see you in a few. Okay, we're not at the car yet. <laughs> so I stopped to take a break. Um, on the way down, I got pretty thirsty. I did see this pool of water here. So on the way up, you remember I said I had a pair of shorts, so I did have shorts on underneath my uh, pants. So I thought, eh, you know, I'm this far up, I'm hot, I'm gonna go ahead and sit in the water. So I sat in there for a little while, got cooled down. Boy, that's ice cold water. Uh, so I finished my water. Now I'm I'm filtering a little bit with the with the Sawyer squeeze and the Cnoc bag. So I'm gonna filter some water. Um, I'm in my shorts now. I'm not going to put the long pants on. I stuck them in my uh, backpack. Uh, I do have some tuna, so I'm going to eat a little bit of tuna here. Relax a little bit more. I didn't realize how far we hiked. We hiked up here pretty uh, good ways. I would say if you, when you come in, uh, I'll try to make a note in the video of where you should, you know, just turn around. Um, I mean, it, it's nice up through here. But it is a lot of work. I left the car at, um, I think we headed in about 8.30. Uh, now I was filming too, so stopping and filming and things. It wasn't a straight hike. Uh, but I turned around up there at, uh, I think it was 12.29. So that's a little ways. Uh, very technical when you get past a certain point. It's not for everybody uh, coming up this far. But if you do come up this far and you want to, uh, sit in a pool of water you can do it down there too uh, but it's a little different up here a lot more uh, solitude a uh, lot more quieter I haven't seen a soul on the trail the whole way up and so far on the way down I may see people down at the parking lot but it is uh, during the week so maybe this will get a little bit more popular uh, on the weekends I don't know uh, based on the on the path in the trail um, it didn't look like it's well worn and one nice thing is there's no graffiti man praise god that that's that's one thing this is the closest trail i've been on so far um, that's really felt remote uh, well, i'm standing here right now and it's very remote so um, like i say it's just the water rushing by the cliffs on both sides, so you're down in a gorge. Ice cold water to sit in. Soon ice cold water to drink. Uh, so I'm gonna break out that tuna and uh, have a little bit of protein, a little bit to eat, and then we'll start hiking, hiking back down. All right, catch you back in the car. Okay, <laughs> heading back to the car. Um, I found the perfect spot to turn around. So where I stopped to, and I actually walked up to that one waterfall and I got under it, got my uh, hat wet, uh, my hair wet, my shirt wet, and then uh, started up the trail more. At that point, that's when, if you are doing the trail, that's when you wanna turn around. Okay, so, uh, but don't turn around and go back down. If you're looking at that fall, go to your right and go up the hill a little bit and there's a old logging road so you can see it I'm on it right now down below me way down there is actually the falls you can hear them um, you yeah, can't really I mean it's way down there so but right now I'm walking on an old logging road and you can see it's going downhill now um, but this looks like, hopefully, 
it's going to run me along the creek here again down there is where we were on the way up so you can take the follow the creek up and then follow this trail on the way back down or maybe you want to take this trail all the way up i don't know uh, but walking down the um walking down the falls no no uh, just coming down to that place uh, where I was going to say to turn around um, very very more technical coming down than it was going up so when you get to that point it's recommended go ahead and turn around go to the right catch this logging trail and follow it back so we'll see where this goes it looks like it's heading back in the same direction hopefully it goes the whole way back to the parking area um, yeah well, it's a lot easier <laughs> A lot easier walking this than it was um, walking down that creek. All right, so that was a nice little walk. All right, maybe this time we'll see you back at the car. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on if I pull my camera out again. All right. All right, Tony here. We made it down, so we walked the ridge following the creek all the way back. Um, the guardrail here, opposite. So I parked over there, remember? We went in that side, the left side. That road or trail that runs the top of the ridge came all the way out and brought me out on the opposite side of this um, creek. So the guardrail right there. So now the only thing left to do is uh, head downstream, which we just did, <laughs> head off the mountain, which we just did, and head back to the car, which we're getting ready to do. So. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed uh, this adventure. And remember, it's just one adventure at a time. Go ahead, get out. Um, you gotta check this place out. But like I said, only go in so far, or go in, go in as far as, as you feel comfortable. Just know you gotta come back. But remember, the right side. Now, on the way back walking that ridge, there's no way you would be able to walk up to get on that logging trail unless you went all the way out to where I said to go where I you know got my hat went underneath stuck my head underneath the waterfall to get cooled off and stuff so right there is where you you can get on the trail to come back it's on the right side it'll follow this ridge all the way out dump you right here back at the parking lot and then you just got a quick walk to the car um, and then hopefully uh, you enjoy it and take care and we'll see you on the next random adventure all right Thank mm -hmm. you.